All right, so welcome back to the Beast Lab. What we're going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate why we don't want to do a 270 or a defensive exit anymore going SNG. So when we were on a knee, if Kobe's on a knee back in the day, okay, he would clamp here, we'd be on a knee, he'd win the clamp, and then he would rotate away from me because I'm on my knee. So as he would rotate away counterclockwise, it would put his body between me and the ball. Okay, so that's what we used to do on a knee. However, with an SNG versus SNG, we're both on our feet, so it's not that easy. If he goes, okay, go into a plunger. If he goes to a 270 now, I'm right here, and it's easy for me to counter, okay? <laughs> Get that ball out of here. That, uh, if you, yeah, if you turn it off, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much. See you guys, have a good weekend. So what we want to do now in an SNG situation is we still want to get our body between our, our opponent and the ball. However, the quickest way to do it is to go TTL through the legs. So if Kobe goes TTL, he wins his clamp, he goes TTL, he immediately just put himself between me and the ball and he has all the control to go chase it. What you're going to do is if your opponent goes 270 or defensive exit now, it makes it very easy for you to counter him. So what I would do now is if I lose on this and he starts to turn away from me, I can come right back around and pull the ball out and send it right to my LSM. So we don't want to rotate anymore because it takes too long. What we want to do for our new defensive exit is to go through the legs, TTL, and use your body between your opponent and yourself. Okay.